Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today we're going to talk about Bitcoin, and we're going to be addressing um, the regression chart that we've talked about in the past. But if you guys like the content, please subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. So this video, in fact, is just in response to another crypto YouTuber who who presented my chart and 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 um, mentioned me in his video. Uh, that is MM Crypto. I'm sure most of you have already heard of him. He has 122,000 subscribers. Um, but in his video, he you know he was presenting the, the regression band and and talking about you know potentially it moving higher than this regression line. And we'll first contend right that that these at the end of the day all of these lines are are imaginary lines and that we easily could disrespect them in the future. Now, the point though is not to say that we can't go above it. The point is to say, well, once we get to that level, the risk will be incredibly high at that point. And while we could continue past it, there still is a high chance that we don't. Okay, there still is a, a high probability that we don't. And, um, you know, if you, if you look at his chart here, it looks like he had it going up, um, you know, higher maybe closer to $300,000. Uh, but you can also note that he has it going up to this level by 2021. So the first thing, you know, he, he noted in his video that if it if it goes up to, to my regression band in the next year, it would imply a 20 or $100,000 Bitcoin because that's ultimately where it will be by the end of 2021. The midway point of this regression line is around $100,000 by the end of 2021. Okay, and you can see that past cycles have gone up to around this level. This one came to the bottom, this one came to the midway point, and then this one came to the midway point. If this one comes to the midway point by 2021, by the end of 2021, it would imply a $100,000 Bitcoin. However, if it takes us a little bit longer to get there, let's say, it, let's say we get there at the end of 2022, then it would actually imply slightly less than a $200,000 Bitcoin at the midway point, right? And you know maybe around $150,000 Bitcoin by the end of 2022. By 2023, it might imply a $200,000 Bitcoin or even slightly higher than a $200,000 Bitcoin if we come to the midway point. Now, the point of this video is to just say, you know, this function, this regression line here, is a monotonically increasing function. So while it does predict that. 100k within 2021 would still be within the realm of the, this equation you know in the mid in the midpoint of the regression band while it does say okay well this would be within the regression band if it takes longer to move up um, then maybe it could imply a higher valuation of bitcoin and still be within the regression band it just might be a little bit later right it just might be a little bit later than 2021 so we don't want to discount the the, the likelihood of, of short-term bubbles or, or, or mini bubbles. We had one in 2019 that took us to 14K, again, which was a lot lower than our fair value regression band, right? Or it was a lot higher than the fair value regression band. We're still only coming just above it. So again, I maintain that the move in 2019 was more ahead of schedule than the current move we've had in 2020. So we've seen this before in, in the first market cycle, which a lot of, so far, this market cycle resembles this one over here more than this one. We came, we came to the regression band, then we came back up, right? We came back down into it, and then we came back up, and then back into it, and then back up. If we continued this pattern, then it would imply going sideways back into it at some point, okay? If we continue to follow this. And if we continue to do that, it might imply later on a double peak. Okay, so there's a lot of ways this can play out. I don't know how quickly we will, you know, we will traverse this no man's land territory if we are able to fully traverse it. But we need to recognize that if we do respect the regression band, it would imply the midpoint by 2021 would be 100K. The upper part would be higher than 100K. But if we go to the midpoint, which is where we went the last two cycle peaks, it would be around 100K. However, if the next cycle peak takes us longer to get to and there's more of a buildup, then it could take it to maybe 150K a few months, you know, 12 months later or something. Or if by 2023, 
maybe even a little bit higher than that. So it's all about, you know, how much momentum do you have going into it? And the more momentum, the more buildup you have, I think the higher that it can ultimately go. So hopefully this is, you know, a good video to, to, to think about and, and to just reflect on for a little bit. I hope you guys enjoy the, I hope, hope you guys enjoy the channel. Hope you guys enjoy the show. If you guys do, please subscribe, give the video a thumbs up. Remember we do have the premium list. You can check that out as well. The holiday sale, you get access to the premium reports, the, the, um, weekly, the weekly premium videos, the telegram alerts channel, the telegram chat room, the risk dashboard and the trading view indicators, including this one. So make sure you guys check it out. You can find a link to it in the description below. That'll wrap it up for the video. Hopefully it was useful and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.